With advances in 3D printing technology, there are a ton of high-quality 3D printers on the market, so it can be hard to find which one is going to be best for you. In this video, I will show you the top 5 best 3D printers on the market this year based on performance and situations they'll be used in. So, whether you're looking for an easy-to-use model for beginners or looking for the best of the best, we'll have the perfect 3D printer for you. So, if you're interested in finding out which 3D printer will be best for you, stay tuned. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. First on my list is Bamboo Lab P1S, my choice for the best overall 3D printer. Today's 3D printers are all about speed, and Bamboo Lab's P1S delivers a whopping maximum print speed of 500 millery slash S, backed with an acceleration rate of 20,000 mm per S. How fast is that? Let's just say its turbo button is labelled ludicrous mode. It can knock out a speed benchy in 17 minutes with good quality, and its normal print speed is around five times faster than old school bed slingers. It's not the most budget minded printer, but it has the best out of the box experience for both beginners and experienced makers. The P1S is the Goldilocks of Bamboo Labs lineup, offering everything you need for very good, very fast prints without going overboard on expensive features. It's a Core XY machine, which offers both speed and smooth printing. It has an all-metal hotend with a direct drive extruder, plus it's fully enclosed for handling temperature-sensitive material like ABS and ASA. It's one of the few plug-and-play 3D printers on the market, arriving 99.5% assembled. All you need to do is unbox and unpack the printer. It even calibrates itself. The machine is a little bit pricey, which may not fit everyone's budget. But if you're looking for a machine that just works so you can focus on the creative or business side of 3D printing, the P1S is for you. If you want the ability to print in a rainbow of colors, then the optional automatic multicolor system is a definite plus that you can only get with a Bamboo Lab printer. When we tested the P1S, it did an amazing job quickly printing colourful action figures, nylon gears for an RC car and ASA tools for around the house. It did have to slow down to print TPU, but the results were remarkably smooth and flawless. Next on my list is Creality K1, my choice for the best, fastest 3D printer. The entire 3D printing community has fallen in love with high-speed printers, and Creality's new flagship, the K1, is looking to win you over. In clear response to the competition, Creality has introduced a speedy, fully enclosed Core XY machine. It boasts a maximum print speed of 600 mm per S, paired with an acceleration rate of 20,000 mm per S. It can knock out a speed benchy in 15 minutes with good quality and its normal print speed is around five times faster than old school bed slingers. The K1 is retailing at an affordable price, the same price as Bamboo Lab's open frame P1P. How does it compare? In our testing, the K1 is just as fast as both the P1P and P1S with a better interface and the ability to avoid unreliable cloud printing by using a USB stick or your private LAN. The K1 is a Core XY machine, a speedy style that Creality hasn't tried since the ill-fated Ender 7. This machine is twice as fast and with the help of Clipper's input shaping can produce excellent quality at speed. It has an all-metal hotend with a bespoke Volcano-style nozzle, a Sprite Direct drive extruder, and an enclosure for handling temperature-sensitive material like ABS and ASA. It's one of the few plug-and-play 3D printers on the market, arriving 99.5% assembled. All you need to do is unbox and unpack the printer. And like its rival at Bamboo Labs, it can calibrate itself. Next on my list is Sovol SV07, my choice for the best budget 3D printer. It seems like everyone is talking about super speedy 3D printers these days, 
But what if you can't afford the latest and greatest Core XY? No worries, because Soval has your back. The company took a solid Ender-style bed slinger with dual Z-axis and a Volcano-style hotend, slapped a massive fan on it and gave it clipper. The result is a very loud, very fast and very affordable 3D printer. The SV07 cruises at 250mm per second but can hit 500mm per second in draft mode. Acceleration rates aren't listed, but Clipper has pegged it at 8,000mm per second, which is way faster than most bed slingers can handle. This is possible because the SV07 has Clipper's input shaping routine to cancel out the vibrations. We printed a perfect speed benchy in 22 minutes using its default settings, as well as several very nice prints. And because it has a direct drive, the printer can even handle TPU when slowed down. The SV07 is a great example of how Clipper can be seamlessly added to any printer. Previously, Clipper was strictly an aftermarket upgrade requiring a Raspberry Pi to hand the computations. Rather than stuff an expensive Pi or similar board inside the machine, Soval swapped its normal touchscreen for a Clipper pad. The pad handles all the extra work and gives you an easy to navigate 5 inch touchscreen with fluid. Next on my list is Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro. My choice for the best 3D printer for beginners. We have a bone to pick with so-called experts who recommend cheap unassembled kit printers to raw beginners. The theory is that building a printer from scratch is the only way to learn about their new machine. The truth is that kits can be frustrating to build and bare-boned machines are a pain to get working correctly. Instead, we're recommending that beginners pick up the Neptune 3 Pro, a 3D printer that is reasonably priced, quick to assemble and easy to level. Anyone can have this machine up and running in less than an hour and have beautiful prints the same day. Even better, the Neptune 3 Pro comes with a direct drive, a simple to use 36 point auto bed leveling system and flexible PI steel sheet that made removing prints a breeze during our testing. It even has a built-in task light. Whether we were working with PLA or PETG filament, the Neptune 3 Pro delivered gorgeous detailed prints. Where other 3D printers in the sub dollar 300 price range, including the original Neptune 3, have a hard time handling flexible filament, the Neptune 3 Pro and its 260 degree hotend had no problem with TPU in our tests, outputting a beautiful TPU Christmas tree model in just under five hours. And last on my list is Anycubic Photon Mono M5 AS, my choice for the best ultra high resolution 3D printer. When it comes to printing in detail, nothing comes close to the Anycubic Photon Mono M5S, which features a whopping 12K resolution and achieves 19 micron X accuracy. It's also super fast. In our test, we were able to print a 3.5 inch model in less than an hour. Anycubic claims this printer has the ability to reach an average print speed of 105 mWm slash hour. So if you're looking for a high speed, high res printer, the M5S have you covered. Amazingly, the Photon Mono M5S doesn't require any manual calibration. This is the first resin printer we've tested that provides auto leveling using mechanical sensors, which not only saves time, but also makes it super easy to set up. Just add resin and you are ready to go. Anycubic has also come out with its own specialty high-speed resin which works with the M5S and is the secret source that helps to cut the time of your prints tremendously. With all these and more smart features the Photon Mono M5S has to offer, it is a great option for makers looking for a mid-size high-resolution printer. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you liked this video. If this video was helpful to you, Please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. It's free. Let us know in the comments down below which best 3D printer you're going to choose. If you have any questions related to the products we listed here, leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can.